Wendy. We trying out more podcast-ish, I guess. We trying to uh, talk about current events or whatnot. Uh, we had some topics on the agenda. This was a headline from CNN. Uh, China wants families to have three children, but many women aren't convinced. So, if you're not familiar with the whole uh, child thing in China, uh, they have a certain rule that they put in place where people couldn't have more than one child. So, I don't know if you know anything about social engineering or anything like that, but that type of shit usually backfires because you just can't tell motherfuckers how many kids to have. Right. Plus, it made, like, more value for males and shit, and they was getting rid of little girls and whatnot. Motherfuckers only have one kid, so they gonna pick the kid that they think gonna basically take care of their ass the best when they get old. They and also, it. what it caused was an imbalance in the gender. So most of the people wanted to have um, a son, and so now all these years later, they have all these boys and not a lot of girls. So the demand for uh, <laughs> pussy. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you a little white Chinese bitch, you probably will have the. How are you a white Chinese bitch? Ebony, they literally put white makeup on. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know what you were talking about. Or white, what? let's clarify it. All of that, those gracial features, like she's she's not too Chinese looking. Oh, uh, okay. Like, they be having to pick. They be having fucking billboards and all types of shit. I saw two videos where one, the white chick was basically able to tell her she was too old to get married to their people. And then the next one was Okay, at this point, we heard some noises at the door, and we thought a motherfucking serial killer was trying to come in the house. What the fuck? Y'all, we back. We had to beat a nigga ass. We almost had a home intruder. No, I'm just playing. It was door dad. <laughs> Somebody almost got their fucking ass beat. Like, we was ready to... Ooh, bitch, I was just... He could have knocked us up. What the fuck, nigga? Right. Anyway, we was talking about the Chinese people, but we was about to do karate. Fucking oh, right. this nigga. You can't play with the numbers like that. You gotta let people have kids how they have kids. Like, you can't just fucking, you know, okay, I want a son, I want a son. Like, they was literally, like, throwing the girls out. Um, I know people was having more than one child, and they was, like, killing kids and shit. I read a book I like that in middle school. Away. So, I think if you did, you had to pay, like, a huge fucking tax. Basically, they gonna make your ass, they gonna make your they ass make pay you for that kid, for real. And it's just too much. So now they fucked up. They need more people. They need, you need more people. Like they need more people. So they are trying to have people to have at least three kids. That's too many fucking kids. First <laughs> off, it's enough you motherfuckers. Like don't y'all take over. Like ain't y'all like one fifth of the world or some shit. Like that ass is enough you motherfuckers. Like, I'm not, I don't know. I didn't socially engineer my motherfucking life. Yeah. You know, not, not like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or a world. How about that? Do you think them busy motherfuckers can handle like three kids when they grandma and they grandma before that literally was just having one, one, one? That's a lot. You ain't yeah. never seen the motherfucker have to jump But that's what, the, that's what the headline said. It said they wasn't, the women are not convinced that they can handle it or they, they even want to. Right. And then, you know, like, that's a lot of stress on your body. Yeah. Like, have three kids. Like, I had one, and it was definitely a fucking train wreck <laughs> down there. Oh so, to have three of those and then put three more. But it snaps back, don't it? It definitely does. I was not that hopeful, but when it did, I was like, yes. Oh. <laughs> and I know that guy because that thing was. Uh. My walls looked at like this. That's rough. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know if they can fix that through that. They, I think they would just, what they need to do is, like, not have no restrictions. Just stay out of people's business. If you, is you fucking, or you not fucking, you having kids, you pulling out, just let it happen. Let it be natural. That's right. Shit. And then, eventually, it'll probably take, like, 30 years, but the balance will start to come back. Because I feel like, in certain places, the cost of living high as fuck. How mm -hmm. the fuck you supposed to have you, your husband, and three fucking little kids like in Beijing or some shit like that? What of them mm -hmm. Hong Kong? One of them motherfuckers is dumb expensive. Like uh, moving right along, uh, this kind of some white people news, white people tea. Um, Nirvana 
has been sued by the baby from the Nevermind album cover. Um, and he is alleging that this is child pornography. Bruh, first off, so this is what it... Initially, I read this earlier today on CNN. I said to myself, damn, the baby broke now. To come, I don't fucking know what, 30 years later? Yeah, it's about, yeah, about... 28, 30 years fucking mm -hmm. later and be like, mm, how can I fucking get paid off this shit? Yeah. Again? Yeah. Or try. Yeah. Nigga, I'm broke. Somebody was like, mm, ain't that child porn? This sound like some real skid row plan that has taken action. <laughs> okay, and blew the fuck up. The fact that he said it's child pornography is a reach, though, to me, because it's like, it's just a baby in a pool where his shirt is off. I don't, maybe it's a more uncensored picture. Do all them bitches need to get like some type of credit from the Uncle Luke cover when they ask me? They ask, it out? I, say, I was like, just going to say this. This is a slippery slope because it's like. You don't have to go and redefine. My like, kids. can that nigga from the Bad Boy album cover, that little boy with the pup, uh the Notorious B.I.G. album cover with the little right. afro, can he come back naked. and be like. You know what I'm saying? Where my money is. Right. They just gonna throw that shit out. Like, you was a naked baby. It was 30 years ago. And it honestly it made me out. mad. Because it's like, it's fucking stupid. It's it's a disrespect to kids that's actually out there getting fucked mm -hmm. in the cage that's or true. something. That's like, true. it's not child pornography. Just be happy you on some, like, iconic imagery. Over. I bet that baby look like Joe Dirt now. That's the nigga that's trying to sue them. Obviously, he's struggling. That nigga named that broke-ass nigga that just went to jail. Her, a baby. A baby. Hurricane Chris. This nigga was all up in the apartment, like. When I say a regular ass apartment, like, you know, where it's 12 niggas at the bottom of the steps and the bitch you live at stay on the second floor, you gotta go through them niggas. It was an apartment like that. Right. He was like, <laughs> No, does anybody want to fucking know this nigga came out? Right, like, who you is? Hype shit his phone. He like, Everybody know what wants to happen to that baby from A Bay Bay. The baby from A Bay Bay. He right here, the little boy looking like, I don't fucking remember when I was saying A Bay Bay. I don't fucking remember that. <laughs> He had the little hood balance. That's how old he was in the fucking video. He ain't nobody asked him, hey, where the nobody to be like, where the fucking baby from A Bay Bay at? I nobody didn't know. ask that. He needs to put himself out there like that nigga. Just well, I'ma just go there and say it. He was an ugly baby anyway. <laughs> you should have been the fucking happy to be mm -hmm. on the the album cover just you know use that to get into some pussy use that at the bar do stand up and be like i was the baby from the nirvana album do you know how many drinks oh a white a white dude would buy him for telling him that that's that's white people favorite shit that, nirvana that right. you can get a lot of shit oh, for free stupid. from showing them this right. if he underwater then his face then he needs his money. and shit like that you know what i'm saying he ain't ugly he not that fucking cute. I'll say that. But anyway, I just hate people like that. Just keep it real. Keep it above. Be like, look, I'm trying to get paid. Like, don't say you is child pornography. Like, get the fuck out of here. Next up, we got some nasty, nasty news. I don't even want to talk about this for real, but. I do. Ryan, we know you do with your freak ass. Because I got a story for that. Ron Jeremy was indicted by a grand jury on over 30 counts of sexual assault and has pleaded not guilty to them all. First off, Ron. First I'm of all, he looks like the critics. First off, um, Ron Jeremy looked like something off that movie 13 Goes. He looks horrible. And I think he did all that shit because I do he too. was fucking weird. I ain't mm -hmm. gonna put myself out there like that, but I came up... As a young girl, you know, I used to look in that drawer, put that VHS in, Jeez. and out of the shit I see, he was my least favorite person. First of all, I'm uncomfortable with a white man having that much dick, for one. He was the first nigga I seen in porn, too. He was fucking two black bitches on this old classic porn that was somewhere in grandma in them house. I remember. I remember that. I'm uncomfortable with a white man having a dick that big. You know what I'm saying? Out of, in life, they have everything. Like, why you got a dick that big? Why Y'all take all our shit. Y'all put us in bondage. Y'all got every fucking thing. Why is your dick big? That's the one thing you don't get to have. What I'm saying is, he did not, he got a big dick, but he ain't get nothing else. That nigga is <laughs> fool. He 
body fat. That nigga is shaped like a fucking melting candle or a sack of fucking rustic potatoes. Well, they ain't too big. They small. He's what? a fucking full of rustic. What's it go? <laughs> I've been drinking too. I don't give a fuck. What is it called? <laughs> I think it's rusted. Is it rusted? I think. Well, Let me look it up. Let me look it up. Rustic potatoes? Did you just say it? Bitch, yes, I think you said rustic. It's rusted amber. Bro, fuck that shit. Niggas be saying Target, <laughs> Kmart, <laughs> Walmart, Barnes and Noble. Yes. This bitch said rustic potato, but I see how you thought that, cause like rustic is like in the country. Yeah, I you thought know, that shit went with you thought your country helping me out, bitch. I didn't know. I just thought it was rustic <laughs> the whole fucking time. No question. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. All right. We was kidnapped. We was brought here. These was not our our right. original My language. vernacular don't come talk. from here exactly. Anywho, this this was an interracial porn. It was a it was a fucking threesome. These two black bitches with Jerry girls. They was all natural, so you know. When you say it? all natural, they pussy was hairy. Pussy was hairy. Titties was real. And Ass long, was probably. Titties was long, but they was nice. No, I feel like in the seventies, them titties had that mm, to it. It yeah. had some of that pickup with it. That like, mm bop. On yeah, it. exactly. It had that. They was titties. They was, they was, they was nice. They was all right. Open up the door. It's these two bitches going in on the couch just for two seconds. They go and open up the door. Who fucking comes in that motherfucker? Ron Jeremy. This nigga takes off not a fucking button up shirt. This nigga had a, like a fat man, my 600 pound life t-shirt on. Snatches this t-shirt off. Boom. Chest hair. Fat ass stomach. Arms bigger than mine. And white. Like, oh you know what I'm saying? You know, I was like, what the fuck? This nigga didn't have on like jogging pants. These was like crackhead stretch pants. They was blue or something. Oh. You know, back in the day, they be called stretch pants. Mm -hmm. They snatched these stretch pants. He got these fucking. I don't even know how to describe his fucking legs. That flat ass. He was hairy as fuck. But then his dick rolls all the way out like this. Dead ass. Dick longer than the CVS receipt. Just. It was on. It, it was, was hard. hard. Like straight out, came the gate. straight out the gate. And I was like, what? So. He did get a big dick, but Ron Jeremy looked like he was fucking broke. He looked like he read fucking comic book books, snacked, and ate the fucking crumbs out of his That's another head. thing that bothered him, bothered me about him. Like, he looked like they just paid him in, like, ramen noodle salt packets or something. He just looked Right. Dusty. He looked like he just fucking do it for Horrible. He ain't have shit else to do on Friday night. But Why not? But enough of that. Let's talk about the, I, the, the allegations. Like, right. like, you just, first of all, you doing porn... You getting paid to have sex. Like, why are you raping people? That's just Right, sick. that's crazy. He just take his shirt off and wipe the table down with it and put it back on. Right. Ugh. He wore the same thing for three days in a row, and then he be the nigga out of all the nice texts you, can I eat your pussy? It's from Ron. Yeah, you be like, Jimmy. oh, God. Right. But, yeah, that's fucking sick, and I... I hope he go to jail because I know he did that shit. Because too many women said the same fucking thing. I, he right? look like a fucking creep. I would watch, if y'all ever fucked around and was able to watch the real life when y'all was little, he was on that bitch being a creep ass nigga that he is. Plus, I didn't know if he had on contacts or not. I don't know too many. Yeah, he had them glazy eyeballs. Like, what are you looking at? And the stringy hair is just always. All this shit gross. Cut that shit off, Ryan. Quit dying that shit, bitch. You look like. I don't fucking know. When Billy Ellis had that little shit on one side <laughs> and the green shit on the other side. Oh my God. Shut and up. And it starts to fade. It, that's how bad he looks. All right. So we're going to move on to the next topic. Something a little more lighter, but still horrible. A Christian school has given a gay volleyball coach one week to turn straight or resign. That's fucked up. It's the ultimatum for me. Turn straight in one week or resign. Like, right. And what the fuck does turn it straight look like? Like, you just do it. Right. I one like, and turn what? Right. You know what? I think pussy is good oh now. Oh, my God. I'm ready to eat some. Like, how does that go? Oh, this has cool. white Christian. We didn't want your black ass there anyway, but you look like. He look definitely look Dominican. Definitely look Dominican. And you look like you're going to say, I know black. Yeah. And they treating your ass like. A, a nigga. Exactly. 
Look at them eyebrows. Them eyebrows ain't going no fucking where in the next month. No. Period. And then so I'm wondering, like, look at the picture. Like, is head. he gay or is he just Dominican? Like, I don't. Is he I just don't a, know. I they might got him wrong. They might think he's wrong. Like, maybe he was like smoking a hookah and he got into it. It was like, you know, and they was like, Mr. Ruiz, mm -mm. let me holler at you real quick, player. Like, I don't know, I, but we don't. I don't know. I didn't read the article like that, so I don't know if it's a Catholic church or like a Baptist church. I would say go out and say it's a fucking Baptist. So this sounds like some evangelical or and Mormon shit. I don't know, and the reason why I say I don't know is because he looks so Dominican, like look, too short to be going from gay to straight. Just like what you like. I think that's a that's that's a hard that's a hard way to go. That's like just quitting dick cold just period. Just you like, need a dick oh, patch, oh, like exactly. a nicorette patch, like right a dickorette patch, yeah. like and you can just feel better about yeah. letting that dick go or something. Cause that dick make you happy sometimes. It yeah, you floating around, you be in Starbucks like, can I get a grande macchiato like? Imagine he just quit dick and he show up with an attitude the next day. He'd be like, Mr. Ruiz, Mr. Ruiz, you not acting like yourself. He'd be like, don't fucking worry about it. I'm three days off dick. Like, he needs dick. Like, the fuck? That vitamin D is a symptom. Right, y'all really just putting y'all team in jeopardy. If y'all don't have this nigga and this nigga ain't happy, y'all don't have no winning squad. Exactly. He gonna be mean to the girls, the, the, the fucking... The team camaraderie going to go down. Honestly, I feel like a lot he of He's not going to put no pizzazz when he make the uh, banners. They probably run through the banners. They should be fabulous. Y'all leave this man alone. Right. Let him be this gay. Right. Let him be great. Dude, Get they need to go on a gay strike. They need to right. go on a gay strike. All the gay people that help make life fabulous for straight people and shit. Right. Just, just stay home. For there like will be a ban on glitter. No fucking lace fronts for you bitches. No, no fucking color techniques. No dyes. No fucking no tech contour. Bottles, no no nothing for you hoes because y'all are not fucking grateful. Yeah. Y'all should just Period. withdraw all y'all services from the world. Like no gay shit. And then Period. then the BBL bitches gotta stay home too because y'all go got y'all whole style community. from the trans women. Exactly. So, yes, throw away everything that's fucking made in know. America. <laughs> throw that shit away. This man can't be. How do, first off, I know his spike crazy. That nigga right, should probably be like, his back. <sighs> ah, <sighs> that nigga, you could never be that. <laughs> the fuck is you talking about? That's he he shit, probably man. get him really encouraging coaching too. Like when they get a point, he don't be like, good job. He be like, that was delicious. He got that dualism, okay? He brings that masculine energy that she just feels safe. And yeah. Calm, but he gives the, you know, nurturing advice also. Last topic, unfortunately, I don't even want to talk about this bitch. Because y'all be in y'all feelings about this hoe. I don't give a fuck. I try to be nice and just not say nothing. But she has lost her motherfucking mind. And I don't care if she get mad because I just run away from her. I think I could get away. I don't know. All I know, fuck it. Fuck you, Shakari Richardson. Ooh. The thing is, is that when your fucking ass got them blocks and you had that fucking new, you had that shit popping on, you had that wig all down in the fucking blocks, like, <sighs> when I come up, the fucking power of Michael's flat iron. And then the when she came home, up, that motherfucker said, drove out that bitch, threw her head back, and, and you was dead you was, fucking last. Bitch. Right there, you was ready to, you was ready to walk off right there. You was ready to quit, like, Bro. Well, she dropped out of the 200, so... I know, that was some pussy shit because on some real shit, all that shit she was talking about, cat me out, big ass nips, period, I came with you, all that I'm shit. that girl. And she said, ah, ah, ah. Yes, that... Bitch, was you fighting back tears right then and there? Oh. That interview was horrible. It was tasteless. Terrible. It was uncouth. Right, exactly. Y'all bitches, and it be a But I think you can be better. I think you can get it together. I think the important takeaway is just humility. Everybody fucks up sometimes. You know, you was on a break, whatever, whatever. whatever. Your ass ain't get fucking pregnant or some shit like that. Bitch, you had one month off. You, 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 you a thin woman any fucking way, okay? I know your ass, you ain't gained no weight. You ain't. Bitch, it wasn't that fucking long between the Olympics and this fucking race. Then your ass was at the crib, ho. You was at the pre-fucking Fontaine, bitch. You was on 
our territory, bitch. And Talk let me just tell you, you know, we, we as black Americans is public enemy number fucking exactly. one. Everybody hate us mm -hmm. for no reason because we did shit to y'all, but everybody right. hate us. And the last motherfuckers we want you to be giving ammunition to is the fucking Jamaicans. Like, Oh, I'm so mad that you did that. You talk too much shit, bitch. And you need to constantly have to back that shit up. Do you see Kobe fucking losing? No, you didn't see Kobe losing, no, Kobe bitch. Gone. Kobe is gone, but Kobe's legacy is still here, bitch. When Kobe had to go to court every fucking day, bitch, guess what Kobe was putting up? 70 points. 60 nigga. points. 58. Motherfucker got a triple-double. Quadruple-double in that hole. Okay. Bitch, you gotta do what the fuck you gotta do. Get it mad Aries energy and I looked that shit up bitch. and she was an Aries that's that shit bro y'all fucking ego is the reason why y'all can never get to the level that y'all need to be to so many Aries and it's just it's, it's really a small thing all you had to do is say maybe you need a publicist and I could be your publicist you might not like me because I'm going to tell you the fucking truth I'm going to tell you them armbands, not necessary. Bitch, you running with your legs. Why you got all that shit on up here? But anyway. You look um, like you was running in motherfucking not Tim Boots, bitch. You look like you had them Birdman lugs on. Okay. And your feet was just, I'm trying to get to the Bronx train. I'm trying to. That's how the fuck you was going. Nowhere fast, bitch. You're going to be late. You were the last one there. Okay, honey. I was going to say, I don't even remember what I was going to say, but I was going to say the worst thing was the post interview. You could have had so much more grace when you could have said, I've been through so much in the span of time. It's been a trying time for everybody. Um, and I'm, and like I said before, I'm human. Um, and I look forward to getting better, being better. This wasn't my best race, but I'll get them next time. That's all you had to say. All of that. Ah! You know what you should have done, bitch? And if you can't do no better than that, what you said, bitch, you should have just left. You'd have been like, you should have been like, Shakari ain't doing no fucking interviews right yeah, now. Yeah, well, when AJ Brunner got knocked out, he left. A you could have even referred to yourself in third person, like, Shakari ain't doing shit right now. Yeah. Like, that's what you could have did. That's what you should have did. You and the baby right now is taking some of the biggest L's of the summer. Shakari Richardson. The baby. The baby is going to recover because the baby is a man. Unfortunately, and definitely, yeah. he's going to get less slack, even though. He already his, got the performance. Gonna, the right, baby. he's going to come right up out of that shit. Just like when fucking, and I love Rick Ross, and that's the fucking shame. But when that nigga said put Molly all in her champagne, he got a dead ass to slap on the wrist. I think that nigga pretty much got suspended from his fucking endorsement. Contract with Rebound. And that was it. And, and, I, and if I remember right, like a month later, he was back mm -hmm. doing him. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He probably don't even know why the fuck he said that. But you ain't never heard him say some shit. I'm not sure that you will learn from, from yours, though. I feel like you're going to have to hit a little bit more rockish of the bottom. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't have to be like that. You could literally, yeah. you could really turn this around with a good interview, maybe like with Bob Costas or somebody like that. Brian Gumbel. you perform worse than I ever thought you was going to perform. To be quite honest with yeah. you, I thought you were either win. Or it would be some neck and neck where motherfuckers had to be like, ah, oh, she, she was close, out. she was this close. Was like, Bitch, I wasn't expecting you to be pretty much as fast as me. That <laughs> oh, you you reach it, really? I'll reach your audience. Because this thing is slow. I'm a fast big bitch, you know what I'm saying? All right, I got And don't let them one. niggas be shooting outside. I don't oh, want shit up gone. for extension, right. you know what I'm saying? Straight out. My arms be jiggling like this. Don't know, though. Well, go. And they be like, what was that? They just put back me. All you seen was pink. And it was, yeah, smell, smell Swiss Arabia and see some pink. And I was out of there. Right. But yeah, that sucked. That really sucked. It was embarrassing. And you, you know embarrassed the whole is team. the shadiest ever, They bitch. are shady. The girl walked past them and was like, come on, bitch. This the last, bitch, you got smoked. Smoked. But it happens. But it's like humble people, people with humility, they but don't have to, to everybody. defend it. You lost to the bitch from like, I don't know, you was back everybody. to saying. Everybody. You everybody. lost to everybody. You lost to the bitch that was like. I think when you seen that you was in the back like that, you should have just like pulled up and grabbed something. That's what I would have did. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, I, 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 
ah, oh, my period came on. Like, yes, anything. Something. You could have said whatever, bitch. You should have just bust out crying at the fucking 60 meters in when you bust that move with your head up and seen what the fuck was going like, on. Damn, I'm and you stayed down, too. That's good for him. You stayed down as long as you could, bitch. And when you literally came up, you was like, damn, I'm driving out this bitch. When your ass came up, bitch, it was over. That's when you should have been like, ah. Yeah, I would have fell. Uh, I would have niggas would have been like she I fell on guy. purpose one time we had to run suicides <laughs> I was high we was on like the third one I'm like damn how many of these fucking suicides is this gonna make us run and I was like oh I got something for that ass got something for that ass I just fell the most dramatic fail then they had to come get me out of the ground ah! and then the man was like that was gonna be the last one anyway I ain't even had to do that. They made that bitch go get checked up and everything. Fucking faking. That shit pissed me off too because she kind of got out of some a good amount of shit. But uh, yeah, that's just how the cookie crumbles. And Shikari, that's just how the fucking cookie crumbles, bitch. Do better. And don't be talking shit to Allison Felix. Like, she's the nicest person ever. Like, bitch, that's the, that's the GOAT for real. Don't fucking play You got bitch. the hiccups? Yes, You homie. drunk like that? I told you I was. <laughs> Well, at least you at home. Right. Anyway, this is our... We already ran over time. Um, But, yeah, we, we're going to do stuff like this a little more often. Hopefully, right. y'all fucking with it. If y'all not, fuck you. Um, Like, comment, subscribe. It's the motherfucking twins. Bye-bye.